Hello everybody, this is Don Markland with Accountability Now and welcome to the Morning Jolt where we give you small tidbits of data, information, and inspiration to make better decisions today. It's a tactical podcast about making today better today. And today we're going to talk about something I'm extremely passionate about and excited about. It's about goals and targets. I hear a ton about goal setting. It's very buzzy. You know, it's all over social media. I hear it in my coaching practice all the time. In fact, I hear it in sales calls all the time. People ask me, you know, I'm a goal setter. I'm good at goal setting, but I just don't know how to stick to it, right? What's goal setting? What's the secret to sticking to it? So many people understand how important it is to set goals and why we need to set goals, but they don't really understand what goals are or how to set them. And secondly, they don't understand what targets are and what's the difference between goals and targets. So I'm going to talk about the difference between goals and targets and why they are so important and why you have to have both and why you're getting them wrong. So you're listening to a podcast right now that's going to change your life. So lean in, download this, save this to your phone, share it with your family, with your cousins, with every single person that you know, because this is the absolute greatest thing that you've listened to in a long time. And I want you to listen. This is a metaphor um, that's going to teach you about the difference between goals and targets. Everybody's familiar with darts. I'm sure you're familiar with darts. So imagine that... Uh, I've got a dartboard in my garage, and it's hanging there, and you and I are going to go play darts against each other. So we're there, and the goal for you is to beat me in the game of darts. That is the goal. And I get it. There's a lot of different versions of darts. There's many different ways to play darts. But the goal will always be the same. You've set the goal. I want to beat Don in darts. That is how goals are. You will set a fixed goal and you stick to it. But throughout the game, throw by throw, there will be different actions that you have to take. That is what targets are. Your targets are repeatable activities that will adjust according to gameplay that are necessary To achieve your goal. And if you think about the metaphor of darts, especially in the main gameplay of darts, as you get near the end of the game, you have to throw very specific throws in order to win. At the beginning, you're trying to maximize, right? I'm trying to throw triple 20 or bullseye or triple 19. I'm trying to throw really, really great throws. And at the end, I might try to throw a five or sometimes a one, or something very specific in order to win. But I'm trying to do repeatable actions, repeatable targets, in order to achieve my goal. That's what targets are. That's the difference. My goal doesn't change. My goal is to beat Don. My targets adjust throughout the game, or throughout the event, or something, in order to to win. Now let's kind of get tactical here, tactical here and apply this. Your goals, what are they? Okay. Your goals should be huge. They should be monster, enormous, inspiring goals that get you so alive. They should wake you up every single morning. You should be so motivated by them. Every time you read them, every time you write them down, that they just just get you so excited. I can't believe it. One of my favorite things that author Grant Cardone talks about, he talks about goals that they wake him up every day because he sets them so high. And this is really important. So many times people follow what's called the smart goal philosophy. And the smart goal philosophy is where a goal is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based. And I absolutely debunk that philosophy. And I get it. I'm going to get a lot of haters out there. But a goal does not have to be smart. 
Targets should be, and I'm going to talk about that in a second, but your goal should not have to be smart. And Grant agrees with me in his book, The 10X Rule. He doesn't. He talks about this, and I want you to follow the logic here. If you set a goal, hey, I want my business to be a $10 million business, set it. Set that every morning and get excited. I've grown my business to a $10 million business. Now, if you fall short of that goal, and chances are you're going to, but if you fall short of a $10 million business and it only achieves $7 million, that's great because you're going to set targets towards going after $10 million and you fall short at $7 million, fine. But what if you set one of these realistic targets and now it's only, whatever, a $3 million business and you fell short and you only hit one? That's a big, big difference. A big difference. I would much rather you hit $7 million business than a $1 million business. What if you apply this to weight loss? And you know you should be losing 30 pounds. So you set a target or a goal of I'm going to lose 50 pounds. And you change your daily targets to losing 50 pounds. And you go all in, but you fall short and you lose 30. But what if you set one of these smart, realistic goals? So you only try to go after losing 15 pounds, but you still fall short. And now you only lose what? Six? Seven? It's very different. I would much rather you lose the 30 than the six. Much rather you lose the 30. Now we're going to talk about targets and what that means. It's the targets that should be attainable. It's the targets that should be repeatable every single day. That's the metaphor of throw by throw. You should do those every single day. And I want to really keep that metaphor in your mind of darts throwing every single day. Okay, Keep that in your head. Keep this really, really clear. You can achieve any long-term goal that you want as long as you have clear targets that you can repeat every day. I can't make that any clearer. If you want to have a $10 million business, you can do it. I guarantee it. You just have have to have enough daily targets that you can repeat every day over time. If you want to lose 60 pounds, you can do this. I guarantee it. You just have to have daily targets that you repeat enough times over time until you achieve your goal. In fact, I know that's true because I've lived that exact goal personally. I know Goals and targets are the key to you achieving all of your dreams, all of your goals. This is actually written about in my ebook, The Four C's of Accountability, which you can all get for free. But I want to drive home the point. This is so important that you have to write these things down every day. Write down your goals every day. Write down your targets every day. And if you're sick of not feeling like you're achieving your best, if you're sick of not feeling successful, start with your goals and start with your targets every day. Stop hoping for a better life. Stop hoping for a better business. Stop hoping that you can get things done and start doing it. Set monster goals and start setting targets and doing them every day. And you will be blown away at what you're able to achieve. It will shock you what you do. If you want more content, first, like and subscribe to this podcast. Listen to it, download it, share it with everybody that you know. Follow me on Forbes. You can follow me on Twitter, at Don Markland, or Instagram, executivecoach.don. You can go to my website, accountabilitynow.net. You can get my ebook on the four C's of accountability, but only get it if you want to change your life. You can also check out my company, the greatest digital marketing agency in the world, 411 Locals, and folks, this is your morning jolt.